This is your Hub City boy, OG Brighty, host of Urban Realness. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share notification button. A couple of days ago, I said I was going to have to serve somebody. Well, the cat's back up to his tactics. Somebody sent me something in. I debated for a couple of days whether I was going to do it or not. But, Gil, I got to serve you. You want to sit up here and act like you're highly offended by something that Carrie Lake had to say. Governor of Arizona. Well, she was the governor. People were offended, I guess, because they rescinded it. But all she did was repeat what your idol Trump had to say. She said negative things about people coming across the border. Okay, well, every culture has bad apples. Hell, I was a bad apple in my culture for years. For the vast majority of my adult life, I contributed to the negativity in my community. And I, I, I you know, I, I own that. But I've rescinded in my ways. Yet in the same token, Gil, you're like a walking contradiction. You want to stick up and say, well, she said this about us. Yeah, look what you've said about my culture. From the negative words that you called us, for the disavowment in your mind of the African-American National Anthem, you know, disavowment as in it shouldn't be acknowledged whatsoever, saying that we shouldn't receive reparations, knock it off. You know, you, you, you are a perfect example of a person who's been colonized by the colonizers because the paraphrase Anna Rodriguez, who said 43% of Latinos and Latinas vote Republican because they're encouraged for upward mobility, because they're encouraged to marry white, which that's what that means for upward mobility. Yet, you know, us as brothers and sisters in this country, we can't do that because of our skin complexion, we don't want to do it anyway. I mean, Sammy Sosa was a sad, sad example of a person in denial of the greatness of the richness of culture. You know, speaking of, you know, African Americans, Afro Latinos, Latinas, and people from the continent period. We come, we come from a great culture. But Sammy Sosa is a different thing. I mean, you really look at all the magazines, man, the 10 most beautiful people in the world, look at the media, look at the novellas and so forth. They always, you know, have people that don't look like us, but in the novellas, they have people that look just like them, the others. So I understand you to a certain degree, Gil. Yet in the same token, in the same token, man, you say you get offended by Carrie Lake. Okay, well, a lot of people must have gotten offended by her because she's not the Arizona's governor no more. You know, she was... Uh, Recall, defeated, or whatever you want to say, however you want to look at it, you know. Just look at what she said. I'm not going to repeat it. Now, when she does speak on things that are coming across the border, it's a two-way street, supply and demand. But the super lads of fentanyl and the super lads of meth are now in Mexico. They come straight across the border. That's not condemning the Mexican culture. Because like I said, I reiterate, every coach has bad apples. And I'm a poster child of who used to be a bad apple in my culture. But I'm just getting at you, Gil. How dare you act like you're offended with some of the things you said. This is the Republican Party that you're offended by. This is the party that you align yourself with. You want to be a Republican conservative. This is what you're signing up for. So quit crying, man. This is what they're going to say about you all day long. It's bottom line. You're going to always be something negative to them. So on that note, man, it's the hub and the dub, man. Two of them. Compton, California. Y'all know what it is all the time. Compton, baby in the house.